So I was starting thinking about my career and what I could do to change that. So it was when I get uh, in touch with personal development. And there, in Brazil, there is some names famous related to this, this field. But I get in touch also with the Tony Robbins material. And I, I decided that uh, after I, my contract was finished, I decided that I would be international known by my expertise. That was a decision that I made. I would be international recognized at my expertise and I would have 1,000 students at my supervision. That, that was the two decisions that I, that I did. And the Jornada Industrial was not, it was not my idea yet that I decided later my goals. It was for me what some months later I would decide to do. So my first objective with the Jornada Industrial was to join seniors, engineers to share their knowledge. It was not clear to me at that time that I would uh, be uh, very, very known in the internet because that, in fact, was not my purpose. But once I went to China, that got stronger in, in me. And I decided that from that point, I would like never to, to get to ask for a job. My objective was I will not ask for a job anymore. I will get recognize it at my expertise and I will have people asking me to work for them and not the opposite. So that was why I start sharing my experience in the internet. And after some, some time, I decided also that I could share, I could teach young people and buy, ask for a fee for that because I spend a lot of time with my students and I do Zoom meetings, something like that. So it, it was like a retirement plan. The, the training program that I have is like a retirement plan. I don't want to stop working as a, a, a chemical engineer working with plant design because it is something that I really, really love and that's something that I, I feel that that give me the, the right to teach other people. So it's something like that, Emmanuel. I'm not so sure if I, I get lost in my thoughts. If I did, please let get me in the wrong way, in the, in the right way, please. Check out the full episode at chemicalengineeringguy.com slash forward podcast. I'll see you there.